Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. It is time for a replay using Here's the Pitch Baseball to replay a game from October 21st, 1973. The 1973 World Series, game number seven. This one featured the New York Mets against the Oakland Athletics, the Oakland A's, and we are in Oakland for Game 7. We're using the as-played lineups, my friends, because if we don't, heads explode all over this great land of ours. The pitching matchup, John Matlack for Yogi Berra's New York Mets going against Kenny Holtzman for Dick Williams' Oakland A's. Bear of left-handers, but very different styles. Matlack was a hard thrower, and Kenny Holtzman by this point, was slowing down. Upper 80s would be his top velocity. Um, everything's on the line here. The World Series, the uh, Mets led the World Series coming back to Oakland. They were ahead in the World Series three games to two. They needed one victory to close it out. Yogi Berra famously chose Tom Seaver for game six and Matt Lack for game seven, throwing both on three days rest. And that ended up not working out very well. Uh, but let's see what happens on our tabletop. Uh, it's time for your starting lineups and time to roll some Here's the Pitch Baseball. If you would like some Here's the Pitch Baseball catalog action to your email, send me an email at berglund.curt at yahoo.com. That email is in the description for this video, along with information about channel membership. With channel membership to my channel, you get access to members-only videos, you get a discount on the secondary store, and you get a free gift from me every month in the form of PDFs that I create for different cards and dice sims. So it's a great value. But for now, and you can find all that info in the description for the video, but for now, we're ready to roll some Mets and A's Game 7 action. In real life, Oakland won this game and the World Series by a score of 5-2. to two. Let's see what happens on my tabletop. This is one of those all-hands-on-deck games, so the only person not available for the Mets is Tom Seaver, who started Game 6. The only person not available for Oakland is Catfish Hunter, who also started Game 6. All right, here we go. Leading off for the visiting Mets, Wayne Garrett at third, Felix Mion at second, Rusty Staub bats third and right, Cleon Jones bats fourth and left, John Milner bats fifth at first, Jerry Grody bats sixth at catcher, Don Hahn bats seventh. He will play center, Bud Harrelson bats eighth. He'll be the shortstop, and John Matlack, with his own hitting card, will be on the mound in 1973. Matt Lack was 14 and 16 with a 3.20 earned run average. All right, for the home, and, and when you order a World Series set from Here's the Pitch, you get cover card that looks like this, plus a roster card that's a huge help with the substitutions. All right. Now, for your homestanding Oakland A's, Burt Campanaris leads off at short. Joe Rudy bats second and left. Sal Bando bats third at third base. Reggie Jackson bats fourth. He's in center field. Remember, Billy North was injured, although there's controversy about that, too, because he said he was healthy enough to play, but Oakland didn't put him on the World Series roster. Gene Tennis bats fifth. He's, uh, he's catching. No Ray Fossey in the starting lineup in this big game. Uh, oh, Jesus Alou is actually batting seventh. He will, sixth, he will play right field. Darren Johnson bats seventh. He'll be at first base. Dick Green bats eighth. He's at second. And Kenny Holtzman is going to bat ninth and do the pitching. And, of course, he was so famous for his World Series hitting. I'm going to take the liberty and make him a number four for batting. In 1973, Kenny Holtzman was 21 and 13 with a 2.97 earned Here's the pitch. We have red, white, and blue dice. The red die gives us a column. One, two, and three on the batter card. Four, five, and six on the pitcher card. And then 
the white and blue dice give us the uh, row to look at. And that's it. Garrett steps in against Holtzman. We're ready to go with game seven. And this one bounces past catcher Gene Tennis, but no harm. Nobody's on base. And the delivery now to Garrett is swung on and hit to left. Dying quail. Here comes Joe Rudy. And there's out number one in the top of the first. Felix Mion comes to the plate now. Holtzman kicks and deals to Felix. And he struck him out. He got him on a dead fish changeup. And that is out number two. And here comes the injured Rusty Staub, but playing anyway, playing through the pain. Holtzman winds and deals to him. And this is swung on by Staub and missed for strike three. That retires the Mets in one, two, three fashion in the top of the first. We go to the bottom of one. No score in Oakland. John Matlack ready to throw some fastballs at this Oakland A's lineup. Can't be up there now. Matlack winds and deals. And it's hit to center. Don Hahn is there, and he's got it for out number one. Joe Rudy comes to the plate. Matt Lack kicks and deals to the Oakland left fielder. And does he hit him? Mm, yes, he does. Rudy is hit by a pitch and trots down to first base. That'll bring up Bando. Captain Sal. Matt Lack winds and deals to Bando. And we have a power chart check to left field. Cleon Jones on the run. We got to grab our power chart. Matt Lack, a minus two on the power chart. A 355 is going to knock it back to a 99. Bando to left and deep. Jones back. Warning track. Wall, and it's gone. Oakland with a 2 nothing first inning lead. Captain Sal brings the Oakland fans to their feet with a two-run blast. Here comes Reggie. Matt Lack kicks and deals. Reggie hits this one to short. That's Bud Harrelson. He grabs the line drive, ticketed for center field. And that's two gone in the Oakland first. Now it's Gene Tennis. Matt Lack winds and delivers to Tennis, and it's hit to third. This is Garrett. He grabs a line drive, ticketed for his skull, and he, he catches that one in self-defense. They're hitting shots off Matt Lack early. But in the first, Oakland comes up with two runs on one hit. We go to the second. It's Oakland two and New York nothing. Cleon Jones, John Milner, Jerry Grody coming up in the second. Holtzman kicks and deals. And this is drilled down the line by Cleon Jones. Just foul. Next delivery from Holtzman is strike three swinging. He got him on a bender. And look at Kenny Holtzman with three strikeouts in four batters to start this game. John Milner up there now. Holtzman delivers. And a base hit for Milner. Right back through the box. Reggie charges in and collects it. Gets it back in. The Mets have a one-out base runner and Jerry Grody coming to the plate. The stretch by Holtzman and the delivery to Grody. And this is swung on and hit to second. Dick Green gloves a pop-up in short right. Two down. Milner holds it first. And now Don Hahn comes to the plate. Holtzman the stretch the delivery to Don Hahn. And this is going to be a power chart check to left field. Joe Rudy on the run. A 563 is going to be a base hit. For Don Hahn, Milner will stop at second. There's two Mets on with two outs for Bud Harrelson. We're in the second. We're off to a hot start in this one. Game seven of the 1973 World Series. Holtzman the stretch and the pitch to Bud. And Bud Harrelson with a power chart check. 
This goes to right. Jesus Alou is on the run. Let's see what this turns into. It's a 160. It's going to be minus 4. So an 82 goes down to a 78. That's going to be a base hit to right for Harrelson. Are they going to wave uh, John Milner home? And I believe they are. Jesus Alou is a 0. John Milner is a running two. But there's two outs and the pitcher is coming up. He's only safe on a two to four. I can't do it. They're going to hold Milner up at third. The bases are dripping with Mets for John Matlack, who was a 138 hitter in 1973. Holtzman going to go from the stretch. The delivery to his counterparts is trouble for the for the A's. This is to right field again and a power chart check for the pitcher. Minus four again for Holtzman. They're all singles. Going to be a base hit to right for Holtzman. Scoring is Milner. Are they going to wave Grody home? He can't be faster than Milner. He's not. He's slower. They're going to hold Grody up at third. It's a 2-1 Mets uh, A's advantage. And now Wayne Garrett comes to the plate. Bases loaded. Hahn at third. Harrelson at second. Matt Lack at first. Holtzman the stretch and the delivery to Wayne Garrett. Hey, struck him out. He humped up on that fastball. And got it by the Mets' third baseman. But in the second, the Mets come back. They score one run. They leave them loaded, but they do get a run. We go to the bottom of two, and your score is the A's two and the Mets one. Matt Lack going to try and right the ship in inning number two. It's Alou, Johnson, and Green. Six, seven, eight coming up for Dick Williams. And I'm throwing dice all over the room. The pitch is taken for a strike by Jesus. Might have a rare play, but we don't. Next delivery from Matlack is taken for a strike. We might have another rare play. We don't. Next delivery by Matlack is a power chart check for Jesus. Salute to left field, Cleon Jones on the run. And this will be a base hit for Jesus to lead off the Oakland second. Darren Johnson comes to the plate. Matt Lack, the stretch, the pitch to Johnson. And to center and deep for Johnson. Don Hahn on the run. Matt Lack, a minus two. Uh, and this will be gone for Johnson. A two-run blast to center. Makes it Oakland four and New York one. Darren Johnson with big time power. Hit one out of here to dead center. Hahn had nothing he could do. And that'll bring up Dick Green. Matt Lack kicks and deals to the Oakland second baseman, and he struck him out. Got him with the upstairs cheese. That's Matt Lack's first strikeout, and here's Kenny Holtzman. Matt Lack kicks and deals, and he strikes out Holtzman. Matt Lack angry out there, angry on the mound, and the Mets bullpen is going to get cooking. That is Harry Parker starting to throw alongside Ray Sadecki. So it's Sadecki and Parker throwing early in this one. All right, can't be up there now with two outs. Matt Lack kicks and deals. Hit to center, dying quail. Here comes Don Hahn, and he makes the catch for out number three. But in the second, the Oakland A's add two to their total on a two-run blast by first baseman Darren Johnson. We go to the third, and your score is Oakland 4 and New York 1. It'll be Meon, Staub, and Jones coming up in the Mets' third And inning. Holtzman kicks and deals to the 0-for-1 Felix Meon, and Meon swings and hits it to short. This is Campy. He charges, throws on the run to Darren Johnson, and there's one down in the Mets' third. 
Rusty Staub up there now. Holtzman kicks and delivers. And this is pulled the first. Darren Johnson is going to take it to the bag unassisted for out number two. Mets have a three-run deficit to make up. Here's Cleon Jones with two outs and nobody on. Holtzman deals. And a base hit for Cleon Jones gets through the infield. Joe Rudy charges in and collects it. He throws it in, holding Jones to a single, and now John Milner comes to the plate. Holtzman the stretch and the delivery to Big John is ball four. Two Mets are on base now. The tying run comes to the plate, and Jerry Grody. Holtzman the stretch. Grody is 0 for 1. The delivery is hit to third. This is Bando. Sal gloves it, goes the short way to green, and that'll retire the Mets in inning number three. We go to the bottom of the third. Oakland 4, New York 1. Matlack on a short leash. He's got Rudy, Bando, and Jackson in his future. The two, three, four hitters in Dick Williams' lineup in the bottom of the third. The wind and the delivery by John Matlack, and he strikes out Rudy. He's letting it air. He's letting it all hang out now. He's not saving anything. Bando hit a home run in the first. The wind and the delivery by Matlack. And he strikes out Bando with the gas. Two down in the Oakland third. Here comes Reggie. Matlack kicks and delivers. And it's a power chart check to right for Reggie. Rusty Staub on the run. Rusty Staub. It is gone. Another bomb for the Oakland A's. Their third of the game. And I put it in the wrong inning. Jackson with a solo blast. It's 5-1 Oakland, and they're busting out the power. Matt Lack facing tennis. Two outs. The pitch is hit by tennis down that left field line. It's going to go for extra bases. Cleon Jones has to dig it out of the corner. Tennis with a two-out double. They're trying to get Matlack through the inning because he's due up third in the fourth. All right, Jesus Alou. This may be Matlack's last hitter. Matlack the stretch, the pitch to Jesus. Is it gets by Grody. That's going to be a pass ball. Tennis goes to third. There's two outs with a runner at third and Jesus Alou still up there at the plate. Matlack, the stretch, the delivery. This is swung on and hit to Harrelson at short. Bud gloves it, fires to Milner, and the side is retired in the third. We go to the fourth. Your score is Oakland 5 and New York 1. Holtzman will face the bottom third of the Mets order in inning number four. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's going to be it for Matt Lack. There's a lot of stirring at the bat rack going on. Grody, or no, Han Harrelson, and likely a pinch hitter for John Matt Lack. Holtzman winds and deals to Don Han, and he strikes him out on a bender. One of those big Kenny Holtzman 12-6 breaking pitches. And that's strikeout number five for the Oakland lefty. Here's Bud Harrelson. Moving into the on-deck circle to bat for John Matlack is Jim Beecham. Holtzman winds and deals to Bud Harrelson, and he walked him. All right. Beecham is going to pinch hit here in the fourth for Matlack. He is done. After three innings of work, Matlack allowed three. Five hits, three of them homers. He didn't walk anybody. He did hit a man. He struck out four and allowed five runs. They're all earned. George Stone is throwing in the bullpen for the Mets. Looks like he's going to be taking over in the bottom of the fourth on the mound for Yogi Berra. All righty. Holtzman to Beecham with Harrelson at first. The delivery. 
And Beecham drills this one to right field. It's a power chart check. Minus four for Holtzman. We got a lot of power chart checks today. Uh, and it's a base hit for Beecham. Not getting too adventurous on the base pass. Harrelson stops at second. There's two on with one out. Top of the order coming up for the Mets. Here's Garrett. The stretch by Holtzman, the delivery to Wayne Garrett. Is swung on and hit to short. This is Campy. It is going to be... Uh, well, let me check Campanaris. Yeah, it's line out to Campanaris. He flips to green. Harrelson too far off the base. It's a line drive double play. That is certainly rally killing and soul crushing. We go to the bottom of the fourth and your score... Oakland 5, New York 1. Boy, the Mets had an opportunity there, but didn't come through. George Stone will take over on the mound. He's going to bat number 9 in the order. <coughs> Excuse me. George Stone was their number 4 starter for most of the year. 12-3 and three with a 2.80 earned run average. Left-hander. He's got Johnson, Green, and Holtzman. Bottom third of Dick Williams' order coming up in the bottom of the fourth. Stone kicks and deals, and he strikes out Johnson. One down for Oakland in the fourth. Here's Dick Green. George Stone delivers. Swung on by Green and hit to left and deep. Back goes Cleon Jones. It's gone. Dick Green with a bomb to left. Fourth home run of the game for Oakland. It's 6-1 A's. Yikes. Now it's uh, Holtzman. The delivery to him. Uh, and he struck him out. Two down in the Oakland fourth. Now it's Campy. Stone kicks and delivers. Hit to right. Rusty Staub, dying quail. Here he comes. He's got it for out number three. But the Oakland Power Show continues as Dick Green goes yard. We go to the fifth, and it's Oakland six and New York one. Holtzman will face Meon, Staub, and Jones coming up in the fifth inning. The wind and the delivery by Holtzman is a base hit for Felix Meon to get the Mets started in the fifth. They've got work to do. Rusty Staub comes up. He's 0 for 2. Holtzman the stretch and the delivery to Rusty. There's another base hit. This goes to left. Drops in front of Rudy. Meon stops at second. There's two Mets on with nobody out in the fifth. Now it's Cleon Jones coming to the plate. Holtzman the stretch. Cleon is 1 for 2 the pitch is swung out and hit to left. Joe Rudy back. He's going to make the catch. Meon will hold. And there's one down in the Mets fifth. Milner up now. One for one. Holtzman the stretch. The pitch to Big John. Hey, struck him out on an upstairs fastball. Six strikeouts now for Holtzman. There's two gone and Grody comes to the plate. Holtzman winds and deals to Jerry Grody. Swung on and hit to short. Campanaris gloves it. He goes the short way to green covering. And the Mets are frustrated in the fifth. They have left runners all over the bases. They have left uh, three, five, six, seven, eight in five innings. And trail as we're halfway through this one by a score of six to one. Stone will face Rudy, Bando, and Jackson. In the Oakland fifth, George Stone winds and delivers. And Reggie uh, Rudy takes a big swing and misses for one out in the bottom of the fifth. Now it's Bando. Stone kicks and delivers to Sal. And it's a power charge check to center. Don Hahn on the run. And this is going to be... A base hit for Bando. Second of the game. One on, one out for Oakland. They're looking for more. 
Here's Reggie. Hit a bomb in the third. Stolen the stretch. The pitch to him. Is hit to center. Don Hahn on the run. He makes a running catch in right center. Bando slams on the brakes and heads back to first base. Gene Tennis comes up now at one for two. Stone the stretch and the pitch to Gino. Is going to be a little comebacker to Stone. He takes a couple steps toward Milner and throws him the ball, and that will retire Oakland in the fifth. They finally don't score. We go to the six, and your score is Oakland six and New York one. Han Harrelson and likely a pinch hitter for Stone coming up in the New York uh, sixth inning. All right, so here's Don Hahn at one for two. Holtzman winds and deals. This is hit to center. Reggie is there, and Reggie's got it for out number one. Bud Harrelson now. Holtzman kicks and delivers. And that's ball four. Dick Williams wants Holtzman to just keep pumping strikes, but he lost Harrelson on that one. Yogi is going to send up a pinch hitter for Stone. It's going to be George Theodore the Stork. One on, one out for the Mets. Holtzman the stretch, the pitch to the Stork is going to be an error check. See what we got here. Uh, and that is going to be a check on the pitcher. He is a two. And that is knocked down by Holtzman. He picks it up. He throws to Johnson. And they retire Theodore as Harrelson moves to second base. All right. Now Wayne Garrett comes to the plate in the Mets bullpen. Uh, Harry Parker is going to be the new pitcher in the bottom half of the inning. Garrett up there now, though. Holtzman, the stretch and the delivery. Swung on and hit to Dick Green. He gloves it to his left, plants and throws to Darren Johnson to retire the Mets in inning number six. We've played five and a half. And your score is Oakland six and New York one. New pitcher will be Parker, a right-hander. Stone went two innings. He allowed two hits, one of them a home run. He didn't walk anybody. He did strike out three. He allowed one run, and it is earned. Harry Parker uh, was 8-4 and four with a 3.35 earned run average. Kind of a Swiss Army knife guy for Yogi in 1973. It'll be a Lou Johnson and Green, three right-handers coming up against Harry. In the bottom of the sixth, Parker kicks and delivers. And we'll have a power chart check to left. Parker hung one to Jesus Alou. This is a base hit for Jesus. Parker a minus one on the power chart. Here's Dick. Here's Darren Johnson. Double play depth for the Mets infield. Parker the stretch and the delivery is hit to right. Rusty Staub is there by the foul line, makes the catch. Alou retreats to first, and now Dick Green comes up. Parker the stretch and the pitch to Green is going to be pulled down that left field line and a base hit. Cleon Jones cuts it off from going into the corner. Alou stops at second. Holtzman comes to the plate, and he may be asked to bunt. Parker, the stretch, the pitch to Holtzman. He does square to bunt. He gets it down. It's bunted back to Parker. Harry flips to Meon, covering first. The sacrifice moves the runners up to second and third base. Two outs now for Campy. Parker trying to hang on here. The stretch and the delivery to Campanaris is taken for ball four. They are loaded for Rudy. Joe Rudy is 0 for 2. Tug McGraw scrambles to get ready in the 
Bold pen for the Mets. Um, yeah, there he is. He is now getting ready. Rudy at the plate. Two outs, though. Parker the stretch, the delivery to the Oakland left fielder. And this is hit to center and deep. Batting practice for the Oakland A's. This could be... A... Off the wall, it's going to be extra bases. The merry-go-round begins. Alou scores. Green scores. They're waving Campanera's home. He will score. Rudy to third on a bases clearing triple. And it's 9 1 Oakland. Yikes. McGraw's not ready yet. The pitch from Parker to Bando is hit to Meon at second. He throws to Milner at first. And Oakland is done in the sixth, but they get three more runs. On three hits, they leave one. We go to the seventh. Your score is Oakland 9 and New York 1 with three innings to go. All righty. Meon, Staub, and Jones coming up in the, in the Mets' seventh. The delivery from Holtzman to Felix is swung on and hit to center, not deep. Reggie there. He's got it for out number one. Rusty Staub up there now. He's one for three. Holtzman deals to him. And it's taken for a ball. We may have a rare play. We don't. Next pitch to Rusty. Is swung on and hit to short. Campanaris charges. Gobbles it up. Fires to Darren Johnson for out number two. Cleon Jones up there now. One for three. Holtzman kicks and delivers. Cleon with a base hit. Two out single for the Mets left fielder. John Milner one for two. Holtzman kicks and delivers to Milner. And he walked him. Now the Oakland bullpen is going to get stirring. Grody comes to the plate with a chance to do some damage. Two outs, though. Holtzman the stretch and the delivery to Jerry Grody. Taken for a ball and not a rare play. Next delivery to Grody is drilled to left. Joe Rudy on the run. Holtzman's a minus four on the power chart. Let's see what happens here. It's going to be a base hit. But they can't get too aggressive on the base paths. Down eight runs with three innings to play. So it's station to station. And Don Hahn comes to the plate. The Oakland bullpen is cooking. It's Raleigh Fingers and Daryl Knowles. Uh, there he is. Lefty righty double barrel action for Dick Williams. Hahn, one for three, is up there now. Holtzman deals. And it swung on and hit to left. Joe Rudy coming on and makes the catch for out number three. Well, the Mets again leave runners all over the bases. It's time to stretch them out in New York with your score. Oakland nine and New York one. And we're going to get a double switch here for the Mets. Uh, Tug McGraw is going to come on to do the pitching. Don Hahn comes out of the game, and Willie Mays. McGraw will bat in the seven spot. Willie Mays is going to play center and bat in the nine spot. Um, so Hahn is out, Parker is out, and McGraw is in. And so is Mays. All righty, here we go. Bottom of the seventh. If you want the latest, here's the pitch catalog. Send me an email at berglund.curt at yahoo.com. Reggie, tennis, and Alou coming up. Four, five, six. The pitch to Reggie is swung on and hit to Meon at second. Felix gloves it. Throws to Milner for one down. Gene Tennis now. One for three. McGraw kicks and delivers, and he walks the Oakland catcher. One on with one out for Oakland in the bottom of the seventh. 
Alou comes to the plate. McGraw the stretch, the pitch to Jesus. Is a base hit for Jesus Alou. Stopping at second is tennis. Two are on for Oakland. Here's Darren Johnson. McGraw the stretch, the pitch. Is ball four. The bases are loaded. Nowhere to put, <coughs> excuse me, Dick Green. Holtzman on deck. Infield back for New York. The pitch from McGraw is a hit to left. Cleon Jones on the run. McGraw's a zero on the power chart. The pitch or the swing is going to be a base hit for Green. It's going to drive in run number 10 for Oakland. Alou stops at third. Johnson stops at second. The bases are still dripping with A's. And here is Holtzman. Nobody can stop the Oakland offense today. McGraw, the stretch, the delivery. And... Oh, my goodness. This is hit to left and deep for Holtzman. Did he get it? It's gone. A grand slam home run for the Oakland pitcher. And Oakland now leads 14-1. to one. Oh, my goodness. It's a five-run eighth inning for Oakland. Or seventh inning, excuse me. Can't be up there now. Sadecki starts to throw in the Mets bullpen one more time. He is joined by right-hander Buzz Capra. The wind and the delivery to Campy is hit to left and deep. Campy just went out of here. It's 15 to 1, Oakland. Wowzers. Joe Rudy comes to the plate. I'm running out of expletives, adjectives, modifiers of any kind. Two outs, though, the, or no, one out only. One out, and the pitch is hit by Rudy to right. This is going to be stop on the run. And it is gone for Rudy, 16 to 1. Yikes, the dice are not loaded. That is getting McGraw out of here. And we're going to get a new pitcher for Sal Bando. It's going to be Buzz Capra. As McGraw gets knocked out of the box. 16 to 1, Oakland. Capra, 2 and 7. With four saves and a 386 earned run average, there's still only one out. Eight men in a row of reach for Oakland. Capra kicks and delivers. Hit to left. Can of corn for Cleon Jones, and there's one down, two down. Now it's Reggie. All right. The delivery to Reggie Jackson is hit to first. Milner gloves it. He takes it to the bag unassisted, and the side is retired, but the Oakland fans erupt. A seven-run seventh on five hits. They don't leave anybody. We go to the eighth, and your score, Oakland 16, New York 1. Holtzman and the A's are six outs away. From a World Series title, it's Harrelson, Mays, and Garrett coming up in the eighth. Holtzman kicks and delivers. He walks Bud Harrelson. The A's are up by 15 with six outs to go. Here's Mays. The wind and the delivery by Holtzman. And it's a power chart check for Willie in his last at bat. This is to center field and a base hit for Mays. Stopping at second will be Harrelson. There's two on with nobody out. Garrett coming to the plate. He's 0 for 4. Holtzman the stretch, the pitch to him. He walked him. They're loaded. Fingers is ready in the bullpen, and they're going to him right now. Here comes Dick Williams. He's making a pitching change. He's up 15 runs. But Holtzman is done after seven innings of work. 
Uh, 11 hits allowed. He walked one, two, three, four, five, six, man. He struck out six. He allowed one run so far. It is earned. He can only win the game. Fingers is on to try and close it. The bases are loaded with nobody out in the eighth. The Mets are down 15. Felix Mian comes to the plate. The pitch. And a base hit for Mian. No, it's just foul. Next delivery from Fingers is a base hit for Mian. 16 to 2 now. Base is still loaded. Everybody moves up 90 feet. Here's Rusty Staub. Fingers the stretch. The pitch to Rusty. Pulled to Johnson at first. It's a pop-up. He's in fair territory, and he makes the catch for out number two. Cleon Jones is two for four. He's up there now. Fingers the stretch, the delivery. He struck him out. Two down in the eighth. Milner comes to the plate at one for two. The pitch is... He hit him. He just hit John Milner. Home comes Willie Mays. Going to third is Garrett. Going to second is Meon. 16 to three now. And Grody comes to the plate. A pinch hitter, Ed Cranepool, moves into the on-deck circle to bat four. Buzz Capra, the pitch. Swung on, this is hit to third. Bando gloves it. Steps on the bag, unassisted for out number three. The Mets come back and show some character with three runs on two hits. They leave them loaded. We go to the... Oh, two runs, excuse me. Two runs on two hits. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Uh, Oakland 16 and New York 3. Bottom of the eighth, 16 to 3. Sometimes you get them like this. Not too often. Tennis, Alou, and Johnson coming up in the bottom of the eighth. Capra still on. He's due to lead off the ninth. The pitch is ball four to Gino. He's going to take his base and... The A's get a not-needed base runner. <laughs> Here's a Lou at three for four. Capra, the stretch and the delivery, and that's going to be drilled by a Lou down into the right field corner. Do you believe this? Uh, tennis around second. He's heading to third. Jesus is going to second. It's a double. Sadecki is throwing in the in the Mets pen, but nobody knows why. Darren Johnson is up there now. He's one for three. Capra, the stretch and the pitch to Darren is oh my God! It's drilled to left and deep. Back goes Jones. It's gone. A three-run bomb for Johnson, his second of the game, and it's, <laughs> it's it is nineteen to three. Yikes! The Raiders are beating the Jets. Green is at the plate. Capra wines and deals. And this is going to be another error check. <clears throat> All right. Um, this is going to be a two-base error on second baseman Felix Meon. And that'll put Green at second base, and that's going to do it. Yogi's coming to get Capra. Raleigh Fingers is going to bat uh, for Oakland. He has a 16-run cushion. Uh, Sadeki is coming on. He is going to now be scheduled to lead off the top of the ninth. Sadecki is the new pitcher. Ray Sadecki, pretty good in 73. Five and four with a save and a 3.39 earned run average. Winding down on his career, he pitched uh, three more years after this, but um, was a big time starter, big time innings eater in the 60s. Sadecki, the stretch and the pitch to Fingers, who is now on. 
And this will be a ground ball to Mion. He gloves it, throws to Milner. And there's one down. Green advances to third base. Run number 20 is 90 feet away for the A's. Campy comes to the plate. Sadecki, the stretch and the delivery. Is swung on. It's hit to third. This is a chance for Wayne Garrett. Holding at third will be Green. And Garrett throws to Milner for out number two. Joe Rudy comes to the plate. Two outs. Green at third. Run number 20. 90 feet away. Sadaki goes from the windup in the delivery. And there comes run number 20. It's a base hit for Rudy. Home comes Green. And it's 20 to 3. Bando at the plate. Sadaki the stretch and the pitch to Captain Sal is a fly ball to the left. Cleon Jones makes the catch for out number three. But the A's in the eighth inning get four more runs. On three hits, and we go to the ninth. Uh, the A's lead it 22-3. Fingers is going to face a pinch hitter for Sadecki. That's going to be Ed Cranepool. And he's going to lead off the ninth. He'll be followed by Bud Harrelson and then Willie Mays. Um, here we go. Here's Ed. Fingers, kicks, and delivers to the Mets pinch hitter. And Crane Pool swings. He hits it to short. Campanaris gobbles it up and fires to tennis for out number one. Bud Harrelson up there now. He's one for one with three walks. The pitch by Fingers is hit by Harrelson to second. Dick Green gloves it. Throws to, to uh, Johnson, excuse me. And there's two away. Here comes Willie Mays. This will be the last at bat of his career. The pitch, last chance saloon as well in this World Series. Fingers deals. To him, and Willie Mays hits it to center and deep. Back goes Reggie, warning track, wall, and it's gone. A bomb from Mays in his last at bat. Are you kidding me? 20 to 4 now. Garrett comes up, 0 for 4. Fingers deals and strikes out Garrett. The A's win the World Series. Uh, let's give you the totals on this one. Wowzers. Willie Mays goes deep in his last at bat. All right. For the homestanding and victorious A's. Uh, 20 runs on 6, 7, 10, 18 base hits. And they committed... I don't think they committed an error. No, they didn't. The Mets, four runs. They had 12 hits. And they committed... I thought they committed an error. Yep, one error. One error. The winning pitcher is Kenny Holtzman. The loss goes to John Matlack. No save in the game. Uh, boy... Tempting to give it to Holt, the MVP of the game to Holtzman. Uh, home runs in the game for Oakland for Campanaris, Rudy, Bando, Jackson, Johnson had two, and Green had one. So those would be seven HRs for the A's in this ball game. But the Mets had chances, and they left runners kind of all over the place. Not that they'd have scored 21 runs, but they could have done better. So I'll give the MVP. Well, boy, I'm going to give it to Johnson. I'm going to give the MVP to Darren Johnson. Two home runs, five RBIs, three runs scored, a walk. Uh, two for four. Yeah, I think I'm comfortable with Darren Johnson as your MVP of the game. This is Here's the Pitch Baseball. If you would like the catalog, send me an email at bergman.curtyahoo.com. And while you're doing that, don't forget to check out channel membership. 
In the description for this video is the link. For now, your final from Oakland. The 1973 A's win the World Series uh, replay of Game 7 by a score of 20 and the 73 Mets 4. Have a wonderful evening. So long, everybody.